Hi, in this video we are going to quickly discuss about the regulation of salivary secretion. So what makes the regulation of salivary secretion different from other secretions of the gastrointestinal tract is that it is mainly neural. See when we learn about the gastrointestinal secretions we learn that they are regulated mainly by neural as well as hormonal mechanisms. But in case of salivary secretion it is mainly neural and it is mainly by the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous system. Okay. So salivary secretion is regulated by parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous system of which the parasympathetic has a major role. So first we will see about the parasympathetic regulation. See we know that our taste sensation from the tongue is carried by two important nerves which are the facial as well as, as, well as the glossopharyngeal. So from the anterior two thirds of the tongue the taste impulses are carried by the facial nerve whereas from the posterior two thirds of the tongue it is carried by the glossopharyngeal nerve. And these impulses reach the superior and the inferior salivary nucleus which is located in the brainstem. Now when these impulses reach here this again via the facial nerve and the glossopharyngeal nerve itself will send impulses to the salivary glands. So he, see here, here you can see that from the facial nerve the impulses are passed on to the submandibular ganglion which in turn innervate the submandibular gland as well as the sublingual gland. Okay? So from the super, superior and inferior salivary nucleus the impulses are passed on to the submandibular ganglion and from there it innervates the submandibular as well as the sublingual gland. Now, to the parotid gland, we've got this branch which uh, passes through the glossopharyngeal nerve to the aortic ganglion and from there it innervates the parotid gland. So, see, for submandibular and sublingual gland, it, it is via the submandibular ganglion and to the parotid gland, it is via the aortic ganglion. So, this is how salivation, that is salivation when we taste something. Okay. So, Parasympathetic regulation, it is stimulated by taste stimuli from the tongue, especially the sour taste. And also, you can we, we know that even the smell and the sight of food also stimulate the nerve signals. And the impulses are carried via a, a facial as well as the glossopharyngeal, which is screen nerve 7 and 9. And then the signals arise from the superior and the inferior salivary nucleus in the brain stem. And the main neurotransmitter is acetylcholine. Like in other parts of the parasympathetic nervous system, here also the neurotransmitter is acetylcholine. And this acetylcholine in turn will increase the salivation. So we just see the mechanism by which acetylcholine increases the salivation or how parasympathetic system increases the salivation. The first mechanism is the SNR mechanism. See that is when there is uh, acetylcholine release uh, in the to the salivary glands, what happens is there will be increased transport across these SNR cells. So naturally there will be more saliva that is produced. Okay, So that is the SNR mechanism. So it increases salivary secretion by increasing the transport processes in the SNR cells of the salivary glands and the cells lining the ducts. So that is one mechanism by which parasympathetic system increases the salivation. And the indirect mechanism is by vasodilatation near the salivary glands. So when there is an increase in blood flow, then also there will be an increased salivary secretion. So that is the mechanism by which parasympathetic system acts. Next, we will move on to the sympathetic regulation. So the sympathetic system has got a very less role when compared to the parasympathetic system. And another difference is that even the sympathetic system also increases salivary secretion, even though it is to a lesser extent. See, usually we say that parasympathetic and sympathetic system acts in the opposite way. But in case of salivary secretion, both tends to increase the salivary secretion, even though the sympathetic system does it less. So sympathetic nerve fibers arise from the superior cervical ganglion and reach the salivary glands. They also increase salivation, but to a lesser extent. So we are not elaborating more on the sympathetic regulation because the role is less. Next, we can mention about the salivary reflexes. So we know that whenever we see a tasty food in front of us, there is automatic salivation inside our mouth, right? So there are salivary reflexes also. So reflex salivary secretion occurs due to two types of reflexes and one is the unconditioned reflex which are the inborn reflex and the other is a conditioned reflex which are trained reflex. A very good example for conditioned reflex is, see uh, I hope you have heard about the Pavlov experiment in which the scientist Pavlov rang a bell each time he gave the food to the dog and thereby even the ringing of the bell cause salivation to the dog. So there are reflexes, salivary reflexes that can cause an increase in 
salivation which can be unconditioned or conditioned reflex right so we'll just mention some applied aspects also so fear dehydration and sleep can inhibit the parasympathetic signals and thereby reduce salivary secretion so that is an applied aspect so i hope this small topic is clear thank you